Governor Jay Inslee in Washington it just became one of those people. He is now uh, someone who you're going to see in a history book. When people tell the story of what happened in early 21st century America, uh, the struggle that we had to fight out on the political stage thus far, and hopefully staying there, God willing. Uh, Jay Inslee will be now mentioned as one of those people uh, who resisted evil. Rachel Maddow uh, discussed this on her program, and it is my great pleasure to show it to you, which I will do right now. In Idaho, also consider that Republicans just passed a law late last week that threatens you with two to five years in prison if you help someone under the age of 18 leave the state to get an abortion. You have to leave the state of Idaho if you want to get an abortion because they have criminalized abortion there. But helping someone do so now is a new crime. They're calling it abortion trafficking, and it's two to five years in prison if you do it. You would think in the United States of America, that a state couldn't pass a law banning you as an American from traveling to another state. But that's the Idaho Republican idea of freedom now. There Let, she blows right past this. Let me just be real clear about why that's insane. That is giving the states an ability to make a federal law for their citizens. That gives them the ability to say, no, 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 you live in Idaho, so anywhere you go, you have to, file, you have to follow Idaho laws. That is what they're saying. That frozen look on Maddow's face is appropriate. But I'm going to rewind it a little anyway. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. That, that's what they're saying. Can't have it. Can't stand it. In the United States of America, that a state couldn't pass a law banning you as an American from traveling to another state. But that's the Idaho Republican idea of freedom now. They are also going to try to use the law to bring criminal charges against doctors who provide an abortion in another state if that abortion is provided to a young woman who has traveled there from Idaho. Now, one of the states that has a long border with Idaho is Washington state, where abortion is legal. That state's Democratic governor, Jay Inslee, wrote a letter just a few days ago to Idaho's Republican governor, Brad Little. It's Jay Inslee, the Democratic governor from Washington on the left side of your screen there. It's Brad Little, the Republican governor of Idaho on the right side of your screen. Jay Inslee's letter to Brad Little basically, for most of the letter, tells him just what a bad idea it is for Idaho to pass this new law. But then Governor Inslee says to him at the end of the letter this. He says, quote, we welcome Idaho's patients and health care providers with open arms here in Washington. But make no mistake, Governor Little, the laws of another state that seek to punish anyone in Washington for lawful actions taken in Washington will not stand. Quote, we will protect our providers and we will harbor and comfort your residents who seek health care services that are denied to them in Idaho. We will harbor and comfort your people who need to flee your state in order to get care here. And you will not be arresting our doctors and nurses and pharmacists, my friend. Radical turn, indeed. Definitely a radical turn. Proud of Jay Inslee. Real proud of him. Uh, when did he become governor? 2013? I wasn't expecting anything major from him. That's huge. What can we do about this? Well, link in the description. You can thank Jay Inslee. I'm sure he's getting all kinds of hate mail from the GOP. Let's balance that out, shall we? Um, didn't put it in the description, but you can contact your governor. 
let them know you want them to do the same. Also a link in the description. If you find yourself in need of an abortion currently, well, gosh, there's aidaccess.org. They'll mail you the medication. I'm not sure it's changed so much from uh, month to month. I'm not sure if they're still mailing to every state. But try. Don't follow unjust laws. It's your body. Do what you want with it. Link's in the description. And uh, if they come after you, you can uh, say your old pal Jake told you to do it. So, what does it mean when a uh, one state tries to make a federal law for its citizens, tries to, tries to act essentially like its own little country? It means we go back to the bad old days. We can't have that. And we have to change this. And in the long run, what we need is a blue 2024. Y'all know I've been saying it again and again. I'm going to keep saying it. We need that. Uh, That is how this fight can end. Yes, Trump needs to be in prison. I have no doubt that uh, he's going to get the baby Advil version of what should have been uh, morphine. (laughs) I have no doubt he's going to get a, a little baby punishment. But he will be recognized as a criminal. I have no doubt that that will happen. He's going to be convicted. And uh, then we'll have to go out and (laughs) protest his weak sentence. As we're celebrating the fact that he was sentenced at all. But that, that isn't really the end of this. The Republicans went mask off in 2016. And they, uh, they ripped off that mask... (laughs) tore it up, and threw it away. Not going back on. They need to lose all political power. All of it. Great way to do that is to demonstrate for the country that enough is enough in 2024. Long term, that's what we do. In the meantime, thank Governor Inslee. Encourage your own governor to offer uh, the same the same resistance. And if you need an abortion, use the link in the description and get it. Because uh, while this is not a free country any longer, it can be again if we insist upon it. And if we fight.